shows, all this music. And so I started really, really listen, getting deep into it, uh, listening to him and, uh, and, and really working on like a, a long composition score for, for this album. And I, I worked really hard on it. And uh, and I figure I find, I actually did figure out a way to get it to Neverland Ranch. So I, I actually did send it to Neverland. I never heard back from him. For I, I gave him a couple. I gave Michael Jackson a couple of years to work on it, and he, he never did. He never did pick up on it. So I decided to record it myself. I, you know, I was really proud of what I did. So I ended up recording it, and a a record label in in Europe picked it up, and uh, and and uh, and flew me over to tour over there behind it. Uh, the, the the record so the the record is actually a take on I I just can't stop loving you so the the the, the record title was Michael Jackson colon I just can't start loving you you know he's kind of this <laughs> loveless <laughs> stranger <laughs> so it, you, it, and there's a lot of like takes on his songs like that uh, and, and 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 so I flew over to Europe to to tour behind this record I did uh, almost two months I did uh, I did fifty fifty five dates over there through all of Europe. Uh, you know, we're, we're touring behind this record, and something really interesting happened. As soon as I flew over there, two days after I flew over there, to touring behind this record, Michael Jackson died. <laughs> and uh, so the promoter, the tour promoter, just t touted it as I had killed Michael Jackson. <laughs> and uh, and it, it really, actually, like at the time, it really kind of is funny now thinking about it. But at the time, I was like, at the time, I was like. That's pretty heavy weight, actually. I don't want to, you know, like I don't want to to take that kind of psychic weight on. But then I was thinking, you know, maybe this really unusual music. Did, who knows? It, it, I, I don't know. Maybe I did kill Michael Jackson psychically. I, I I couldn't say for sure. I wasn't intending to. That's that's. <laughs> I didn't mean to kill Michael Jackson, but maybe maybe I did. So this is from that album. It's called A Little Radio Wave. Um, and so just to give you a little bit of. Uh, well, I've already given you a pretty tremendous amount of context. To give you a little bit more context, um, is uh, so the it's a it's a a back and forth between Michael Jackson, who is eight years old, and his mom, who's however old she was when Michael Jackson was eight years old, and he's in his front he's on his front lawn in Gary, Indiana, and he's and he's uh, and he's staring off into space. So the first part is his mom talking to Michael Jackson. And the next two verses are his reply, so it's uh, it's it, it's call it, it's call and respond, and it's pretty uh, it's pretty quiet finger picking. Michael, stop staring at the sun. For you will surely go blind Although the sun is lovely Beauty is frequently unkind Rather than far prefer that I be a little radio away carrying music across the sea rather than a human being I would far prefer a fire in a city illuminating the sky at night Michael stop staring at the sun for you will surely go blind although
right? 